Hi, welcome to our Google I.O. Tech Talk on how communications and contact center applications can be optimized for the web and how you can differentiate your solutions by building cloud native apps on Chrome OS. I'm Raluca Mone, and I am a global partnerships lead for the Google Chrome OS team. Joining me today is Austin David Christopher from our awesome partner engineering team. Today, we're going to share how modern web standards and Google Chrome OS APIs can help empower communications and contact center developers to build, optimize, and most importantly, differentiate their applications from the competition. Let's get started. Before we get into the meat of this, let's first talk about the communications and contact center trends that are driving customer migrations to the cloud. Mark Twain once famously said that prediction is difficult, especially when it involves the future. How true. Who would have predicted the past few years? If you would have asked me three, four years ago what a typical contact center would look like today, I most certainly would have not said agents would no longer be in a large facility tied to their desk, but instead be highly distributed, even in their own homes taking calls on earbuds and using a Chromebook to get their job done. Yet this is the reality for many contact centers today. In fact, 77% of service organizations are adopting or accelerating remote work options. In the last few years, we've seen a 24-fold increase in migration to cloud technologies. Moving communications and contact center solutions to the cloud also allows your customers to embrace automation and rethink business continuity. Okay, interesting perhaps you might say, but so what? How does this matter to you and your business? It's an excellent question. As it turns out, there is a pile of benefits to be realized. First, let me start by saying that the web is not a replacement platform. It's an expansion platform. Customers can be anywhere, and you are making your experience available to them wherever they are. You can write apps that easily reach a broad audience across desktop and mobile devices. Write it once, and it works everywhere. Quickly launch and deploy app enhancements and fixes without requiring user intervention. You're no longer dependent on flaky end users who like to hit the Remind me tomorrow option whenever there's a critical update available. You can increase your development and test speeds by leveraging web standards. And finally, you contribute to building a safer, faster, and stabler way for all internet users. Now, Austin will walk you through a few of these standards and APIs that enable you to develop cloud first applications to provide differentiated capabilities. Thanks, Raluca. Building for the web starts with how you build applications, and at their heart, progressive web apps are just web applications. Progressive web app, or PWAs, are designed to provide all the great capabilities you would get from a native installed application with all the reach and engagement capabilities of web apps. Here's a few examples of Google Chrome and a price recommended communication partners that have optimized their solution for web with progressive web apps. WebEx leveraged web technologies to launch a new PWA by offering integrated meetings, messaging, and calling features, allowing users to join a unified and installable app-like experience on a Chromebook. Zoom recently migrated millions of users to their PWA from the Chrome app, which was previously a meeting-only experience. With the PWA architecture, they have been able to expand the capabilities to better match the full feature set that is available in their native Zoom application. We will use these examples to see how we can customize these apps for enterprise. First, let's see the difference from the user perspective for both traditional web app or web pages and the progressive web apps. Upon logging into your OS, the typical user experience of launching a web app requires two steps. The user typically needs to launch the browser first. Then the user has to navigate to your web app via bookmark or URL. 
for PWA, the user launches the app directly from the icon on their home screen or shelf. This provides a user experience similar to launching a native desktop application, which many users are accustomed to. Once logged in and on subsequent launches, the PWA presents the full experience that matches the native desktop application. Now, let's talk about how the progressive web app can be installed for enterprise or managed users. In this example, an enterprise administrator applies app managed policies through the Chrome Enterprise Admin Console. As you can see here, we are force installing and pinning the Cisco WebEx PWA icon for a set of managed users. The Cisco WebEx app PWA manifest provides things like the app icon that will appear on the user's desktop, just like native desktop application. Enterprise managed PWAs can also take advantage of additional capabilities such as web managed configuration. Web managed configurations allow admins to specify things like app settings through the admin console. Here, we see that the default login behavior, user can log in using the Zoom accounts and Google sign in. Zoom created web managed configurations to restrict certain authentication options. In this example, we are applying their web managed configuration to disable Google sign in from the Chrome management console using a JSON object. After applying the web managed configuration through the admin console, we see that the user can no longer use the Google sign in authentication option. As a developer, you can expose any of your app settings as a web managed configuration, which will make deploying your app more seamless and customizable for enterprises. There are few limitations with web app compared to native applications, and Project Fugu is an effort to close gaps in the web capabilities and thereby enabling new applications to run on the web. To learn more about this, please check the IO talk, Advanced Web APIs in Real World Apps. Another great web optimization capability is delivering through the Chromium web standard. Webit enables web applications to interact with human interface devices other than the standard supported devices like mice, keyboard, touchscreen, and gamepads. However, there are many other hit devices that are currently inaccessible to the web. This API allows web applications to request access to these devices, send and receive hit reports, and retrieve information about the report descriptor. In communication and contact center environments, the primary web use case is for computer telephony integration with headsets. Leading headset integrators like HP Poly, Jabra, and Epos offer several models of headsets that are WebBit compatible. The benefits of WebBit are no more siloid proprietary SDK integrations. By leveraging the new Chromium web standard within communication and contact center applications, providers can easily integrate their WebBit call controls into any compliant headsets. It's supported across all major operating systems. WebBit headset controls have been validated with Chrome browser across Chrome OS, Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems, supported across all Chromium-based browsers. WebBit is available for any Chromium-based browser. Next, we will talk about screen capture. Screen capture, screen sharing, and screen recording are other great communication and contact center use cases that can benefit from Chromium web standard. Get Display Media is an extension of the Media Capture API Get User Media that enables the acquisition of users' displays are part thereof in the form of a video track. In some cases, system, application, or window audio can also be captured and presented in the form of an audio track. This enables a number of applications, including screen sharing using WebAS TC or contact center screen recording. Multi-display capture extends get display media to support use cases where multiple screens need to be shared or recorded with requiring users to accept recording. Our Chrome Enterprise recommended partners like Dialpad that you see here are now integrating this new web standard to optimize the screen recording on Chrome OS. Finally, Chrome OS completes the experience with always on non-closable screen recording support. Thanks, Austin. It's great to see all of the hard work that's gone into ensuring our communication and contact center partners 
can optimize their solutions for the web through the power of progressive web apps and Chromium standards. Now, let's take this one step further, shall we? Let's look at how we create a differentiated experience by leveraging Chrome OS. If you've not used a Chrome OS device yet, you really should. It's simple, powerful, fast, and secure. Zero reported ransomware attacks ever. These benefits are inherent to every Chrome device out there. Chromebooks, Chrome bases, Chrome boxes, whatever, or for whatever use case, consumer enterprise education. It doesn't matter. But for the enterprise, and because each use case and each company and each vertical all have different security concerns and compliance needs, what if we make the ability to implement policies flexible and customizable? What if we keep all this up to date as frequently as possible in a seamless fashion that doesn't require human action, doesn't interrupt workflows, or mandate significant downtime? That's what an enterprise upgrade license affords you. But more than that, Chrome Enterprise Upgrade Licensing also unlocks new abilities that allow partners to differentiate their products on Chrome OS and deliver experiences only available on our cloud-first platform. Austin, walk us through these differentiations, if you would. Last fall, Chrome OS team introduced a new Chrome Enterprise capability called the Chrome OS Disconnector with leading partners like Nice and Ring Central. In contact center use cases, 53% of the agents say they use three or more systems during a single call. And at Google, we have seen customers with extreme cases where they are opening over 20 apps and tabs to support a single customer inquiry. This poses a productivity challenge for users as they end up with a cluttered and complex desktop to navigate throughout their day or need to spend the time manually managing windows and apps and getting back to their optimal starting point in between customer interactions. With the Chrome OS Disk Connector, your communication and contact center solutions can automatically create a new desk for each customer interaction. Once the interaction ends, the desk with all its case-specific windows can be closed with one click. Managing the desktop has never been easier. Let's watch a quick demo on how this was implemented with the Ring Central Engage Contact Center solution. A contact center agent makes themselves available to receive inbound calls as they start their shift. Currently, they only have one Chrome OS desk active. A customer makes an inbound call to speak to a contact center agent for support, and the call is routed to the available agent. The agent answers the call, and a new desk is created to isolate all apps and windows related to this specific interaction. When the agent views their desks, they can easily see that a new desk was created for the call the agent received and seamlessly switch between workspaces. After the call has been answered, a CRM screen pop is delivered by the contact center platform to help the agent with the interaction. The customer is asking for Fitbit support, so the agent opens a Fitbit support page in a new window. After getting more specific information from the customer, the agent opens the help manual on Fitbit battery in another window. The customer now has all the information they need, and the agent can now end the call. When the interaction is ended, the agent gets an option to close or keep the windows and desk related to this specific call. In this example, the agent chooses to close windows and declutter their workspace. The Chrome OS desk is closed by the contact center application and the agent can quickly and easily get back to their optimal starting point for the next interaction. The last Chrome Enterprise differentiation opportunity I wanted to discuss with you all today is the Chrome OS telemetry API. The users of your application can often be impacted by device and OS performance and business managers don't always have the visibility into IT monitoring tools 
that power root cause analysis and proactive resolutions. The Chrome OS Telemetry API enables you to monitor the operation of health of the devices running Chrome OS. By incorporating Chrome OS Telemetry signals into your communication and contact center dashboards, your customers can easily drill down from app or use case specific KPIs into root cause issues with the devices they use. Our Chrome Enterprise recommended partners like Dialpad and UJet are working to integrate the Chrome OS Telemetry API into their reporting and dashboarding solutions to better monitor and troubleshoot devices and application level issues that could be impacting customer experience. Now, I'll hand this back to Raluca to close our presentation. Over to you. Thanks, Austin. It's so exciting to see Chrome Enterprise powering the future of communications and contact center and giving businesses around the world an opportunity to work smarter, faster, and more securely. To close things out, if you are a communications or contact center partner, consider building or optimizing your application for the web. This gives you an opportunity to become part of our ecosystem and work with our amazing teams at Chrome OS, Chrome Browser, Google Workspace, and others, and also work with great software and OEM partners like the ones shown here. Finally, we shared access to information throughout this presentation to help you along your web development and Chrome OS journey. You can find the links in the description below. Don't hesitate to reach out. If you ever have questions, our team is here to help you along the way. Thanks for attending our Tech Talk today. We hope you enjoy the rest of Google I.O. 2023.